Hi guys, so we're gonna do a tutorial today on how to make these fancy schmancy, um, I guess like flower crowns, tiaras, whatever you want to call it. And these like floral headpieces are really big for the spring. And I know some of us, are, you know, not everyone is like into big pieces like this and stuff I don't really mind it I actually had made this one for my daughter and it's all from the dollar store like the inside little pearls and stuff I bought everything at the dollar store but since I know this is really huge I know not everyone's into that I'm going to teach you how to make a smaller one and these are the this kind of got started on something here but this is how big the flowers are. I'm gonna do with like a purpley one with some white flowers, and then these pinkish purple flowers, and then these butterflies. So it's gonna be different than this, but maybe something more wearable. Something definitely that you can wear to like um, concerts and music festivals that are coming up and things like that. So. Stay tuned. So, let's begin. This is the headband. This is just a Dollar Tree headband. It was three for a dollar, so psh, that's awesome. All of my flowers are also from the Dollar Tree. I have already started it here, um, just, you know, to show you how to keep going. Um, the placement is really up to you, the design, like, what colors you want to put together. If you want to make it all one solid color, that's pretty, that's perfect too. Um, I picked like a whole range of like different kind of purples and stuff and a white flower just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, so what I do is that one side is my front side and one side is my back side. And I think it's um, just try to keep it organized to like what side you want to um, put it to. Um, here's another one of the other flowers that I picked out. Um, just I like this flower that it was really like big in the middle um, like a lot of yellow and it gives the headband a pop of color so you just put on a little dot of glue on there be careful with your fingers I'm a pro at the glue gun just kidding but um, just the placement is really up to you and how you want it you know to go um, I try to place the purple flower the dark deep one the one I just put on last um, more in a way that it pops a little bit more, like stands out more, um, just because that's the one that I like, and the, the pop of yellow is what I really liked, and what I think is going to make the headband extra cute. Um, so yeah. So you just keep on repeating this until your headband is complete. And yeah. So here I have completed my entire headband. I have put down all the flowers. Um, I ended them both in white. I just think it's more like it looks better the way if you end them both in the same color on both sides. Like it looks more professionally done. If if you know what I mean. I, I don't know how to say it, but just more coordinated, more um, yeah. Um, and then just take out the little you know extra silly glue um, boogers out of the way. Um, this is what I'm going to use to bejewel my crown. I'm not going to put it in all, all of them because that's too much. But just the spots that are really stand out, like on the sides, on the outside. So, pearls and just little stones from the craft store. So, pick the flower that you want to put them in. Um, here, the dot on there wasn't that big. So, it wasn't, and it's not a very, like, vibrant color. So, I decided to just stick, like, a pink little stone on there. Make sure that you try to land your stone perfectly on there so you don't get glue on top of the stone and it's a big problem. You have to peel it off and yeah, you don't want to do that. Um, on to this one here. Uh, make sure that you hold down the leaves when you're putting down um, the gemstones and stuff because you don't want them to get caught in there and then they're going to get all gross and sticky and yeah. So, um, this is the pearls. I like to put three in at the same time. I think it makes it pop a little bit more. Um, might be a little excessive sometimes, but um, I think that's the fun part about this is that you can make this 
as crazy as you want, any color that you want, add whatever you want on it. Um, but it, uh, my mom used to tell me, like, I've always been someone who adds so much crap to things, and my mom's like, like, even in outfits and stuff, she would tell me, she's like, oh, and tienes el morcajete colgado and stuff, you know? I don't know, you probably don't know what that is if you're not Mexican, but if you're Mexican, you probably know. Um, it's this little stone that you grind, um, like, chile in, like, um, guacamole or salsa in. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much what you get. It's easy peasy. Now, this, the, I thought this was freaking adorable. This little, like, um, butterfly is also from the Dollar Tree. You get a little bunch. I think I showed it at the beginning for a dollar, which is awesome. So you just find out where you want to put it. Try on, try on the headband first. See how it looks. See where the flowers land, what, um, where they face and things like that. And just put it in, in a, maybe a bald spot. And that's kind of what I did. And I kind of intentionally left a spot where I thought I would want it. And it actually worked out for me. So before you actually glue anything in, because taking it in, put it in, gluing it in and then taking it out is such a pain in the butt. So just try it out first and see how it would look if the butterfly was placed there or whatever you want to place. Even like the flower. If... Um, see how you want it to face before you glue it down and that's you know that's um, how you'll get what you really want and there we go that's how I place my butterfly I'm gonna cut off the little tips because I think it's too much so there you guys have it this is my finished product um, I absolutely love how it came out and um, let me show you really fast the one I did before this like the one with the big flowers which is this and I mean it's very I think it's very different I mean it's the same kind of concept I did this in this kind of headband for my daughter just because I feel like these might tighten up against her head and I don't, I don't know since she was a baby it was a big deal so I just did the ones that slip on but I mean even if this is supposed to be like a little kid headband and I have a big head so it'll work for you to like slip it in through the back like that which is, I think, is more of the style now, you know. Um, I personally think it's really cute. Um, like I said, it might be a little over the top. And if you want to do something more, you know, not over the top. This reminds me of more fairy. But, I mean, I still absolutely love it. And I would wear this out for the spring. And um, I know I added this at the end. A little butterfly. And that's... Just my personal taste, um, a little over the top sometimes, and I just absolutely loved how it came out. Um, so yeah, that is that is my 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 headband. I'm trying to put it backwards more so you can see what it would look like if you put it back more. They are absolutely gorgeous. I hope that you enjoyed this do-it-yourself headbands. I know. Um, Etsy has them for like ooh, who knows how much money and um, I've seen some for like 30 bucks and I'm like what so that is how you can do it yourself um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you soon bye